Goldberg views direct seeding as the foundation for applying nitrogen at a variable rate. He relies on a no-till drill, which he has adapted to use with a liquid and hydrous fertilizer delivery system. My name is Eric Oldberg. I'm a fourth generation farmer, Genesee, Idaho. Farm 2,200 acres in a rainfall area of 22 inches. Uh, have a three year crop rotation, winter wheat, pulses, and uh, spring grain. We are uh, currently getting a fourth leg into that rotation with uh, canola. Eight years ago, I purchased a fertilizer system for my no-till drill. It's uh, an Exactrix and a Hydrus delivery system. One of its, uh, his main selling points with the system is a reduction of nitrogen. Acting on advice from Guy Swanson of Exactrix Global Systems, Eric got started by purchasing a yield monitor to understand where his application of nitrogen was having the most impact and where it wasn't. The NRCS Conservation Stewardship Program helped to defray the cost. And immediately that first harvest I could see that the hilltops were only yielding about 50 bushel and the, our draw bottoms were 150 and it just really made sense to me that we were way over fertilizing the hilltops and maybe under fertilizing the draw bottoms and that variable rate really made sense and could be easily attained. Eric's next step was to purchase a fertilizer controller that would allow him to plug in application rate data based on yield maps. Because Eric doesn't consider himself to be particularly tech savvy, he worked with precision agriculture consultant Dave Barton to develop his prescription maps. Eric explains his equipment. This is my John Deere 1895 uh, no-till drill. It has a uh, separate fertilizer placement on it. Um, it's a true one-pass no-till drill, uh, single disc. Uh, this is an Exactrix fertilizer delivery system. It uh, takes an hydrous ammonia, which is a liquid and a gas pressurized tank. Takes it in here to a pump that in, and it increases the pressure from the tank pressure. Most uh, anhydrous delivery systems are pressure reducing. So it reduce, reduces the pressure that's in the tank. This is, it increases the pressure. So it takes that gas and liquid and it turns it so it's pure liquid. And it then it comes out as liquid out of the injection points of the, the discs that are going into the, into the ground. It's keeping it as, as liquid so it's not gassing off and going into the atmosphere. Eric has found that applying nitrogen in liquid form reduced problems he had encountered using a regular non-pressurized anhydrous ammonia system. I went with anhydrous because it was the cheapest form of fertilizer and, and, uh, and then I have everything else is liquid, the phosphate and sulfur are liquid. Um, and with the traditional system that I had on here, I was, I was gassing a lot uh, with anhydrous ammonia in the hard and dry conditions and then the cold wet springs. Uh, since it was a gas and a liquid, it was causing the, the discs to freeze up um, from the cold gas um, uh, next to the blades and so it was causing plugging problems. Eric modified his no-till drill to work with his variable rate fertilizer delivery system based on the soil and weather conditions on his farm. He shares some tips about equipment based on his experience. Uh, one of the key things is having the closing wheel right behind the where it comes out uh, it, so if there is any gassing it seals it right back so it puts the soil right over it um, because once that that liquid nitrogen gets atmosphere exposure then it then it wants to go back to a gas and so you want to keep it in the soil and you want it so it'll cover it up quickly i was breaking a lot of parts a lot of discs and hubs in the hard and dry conditions and guy swanson also said he could help me solve that problem he built 
bigger and more heavy duty hubs for the single discs on it. I have Keaton seed firmers and I have exact uh, closing wheels. Both are technologies or aftermarket products that, that I read about, looked at in no-till publications that look like would uh, improve the drill. I've looked Look for solutions to make it better, make it work, instead of just trying something and not liking it and <laughs> moving on to something else that may not work. Mm -hmm.